I've spent my life volunteering, so giving back on an event is very important to me. I enjoy getting involved at the big events, just meeting lots of people and feeling that I'm part of the organisation. You're always in a fantastic area and you know there's going to be thousands of other keen orienteers about. So it's really sociable, hard work, uh, but ultimately rewarding and a fun experience. Because it does take a lot of work to get a big event like this working well. And as a volunteer, you might only do tiny little jobs, but together you're helping a, a, a sort of massive event go ahead. So there's lots of jobs that you can help on when you go orienteering. You can help at the start, you can help at the finish, you can help put controls out, collect controls in at the end of the day. At the technical end, you could be planning the actual courses or controlling or doing something there. And that's actually a good way of improving your orienteering because you're working with the map and uh, have to be very precise. So at that level of volunteering, you get a benefit directly. The other side, I'm doing car parking at the moment, which is um, not technical, but is great for meeting people. Out of orienteering, I love being in the forests. I love visiting different places, meeting different people. I've orienteered all over the world, and it gives you a reason to go to an area and not just to orienteer, but then to visit places in that area as well. These big events take place all over the country. There are people I've known for over 50 years who've been competing. Uh, it's a chance to catch up. Yeah.